Well, hello, this is Rochelle and welcome to my channel. So today I am going to set up my 2023. Goodness gracious, how many times are we still going to make that kind of mistake? <laughs> 2023 uh, faith planner. Now, if you followed me in 2022, you'll see that I use the Ella Roots uh, printables in the beginning of every month. She has a scripture reading plan um, and that is kind of, I want to say backed up by her printables in that her printables uh, cover the verses that is a part of the scripture reading. So not only do you have the actual verses, but you also have kind of printables that go with it so you can elaborate on it, use it in your planner journal throughout the month with it and uh, it really has been a blessing to me i if i look back on 2022 what did come out of that that i enjoy obviously i didn't reach any of my youtube goals and all of those things but what did come out is that i had spent more time in the word um than the previous year and that it was definitely more <laughs> about the word than about the art the art was great um, and it was made easy uh, and i've said this so many times before um, it was made easy by these very artsy ladies who make these printables um, and so for that i'm really and truly thankful that i could spend more time in the word um, and it, it didn't take hours to create something um, I could just go, to, you know, go to it and get it done, um, the art done <laughs> and spend time in the word. So the creativity is definitely needed. It's part of it. It's it's um, something that I believe is vital for balance in your life. If you are only <laughs> studying and uh, you're like me working in an accountant job, it's kind of very much block debits equal credits so the creative part letting your brain kind of out for a little bit is very important i looked at one of these backgrounds from the printables and if you haven't seen the unboxing i'll link it below or above or somewhere <laughs> um of these printables they really are super cool printables um, and one of these backgrounds is this kind of dry brush blended um, two blues and a white if i could call it that so i just used the deco art paint and wanted to kind of create that background sky here for my actual plan so the 31 versus opening page you want to call it that <laughs> words fail me words fail me these last couple of uh, months but anyways so um, i'm just putting down a very loose kind of uh, messily dry brushed paint um, to sort of look like a sky and then that beautiful um, uh, printable printed sun uh, that I cut out with my brother's scan and cut so you'll see in my little box next to me which is the box my beautiful Amy Tangerine Archer and Olive journal came in uh, I've got most of my printables cut out I did spend some time in the beginning of this um, video just cutting out some of the elements that my brother's scan and cut missed which nah, it's not the end of the world so <laughs> I can do that um, I am eating wine gums it is my favorite to eat while I'm <laughs> journaling oh hearty da to you too <laughs> So just laying out this little scene with this caravan or camper um, that it, it speaks of, you know, going into a private place, uh, spending time in, um, in solitude with the Lord, spending time alone with him, not doing it for the show, but closing the door um, and spending that time with the Lord. We so often get distracted and we get distracted by everyday life. We get distracted by sitting and, you know, we're on our phone doing devotion on you version and the notification for a message pops up and you quickly go to that message instead of uh, sticking to the word. And even if you then do the whole, I'm going to stick it out thing in the back of your head, the whole time you're wondering, 
what did that message say? What if it was important? What shouldn't I just check? Um, and I know that that's the case for me. I'm not saying that it's the case for you, but it definitely is for me. And so I need to be engaged in the word. And this is what um, I found Bible journaling to be helpful in, in that I, while I'm writing and creating, I don't have my phone with me. I um, usually have my earphones in and I'm listening to, you know, whatever I'm listening to or watching whatever I'm watching in the background. And it's that kind of intense time with just this. Yes, so there's that. So instead of doing the kind of uh, verse of the day on you version, I am doing this verse of the day or scripture reading of the day from Ella Roots's principles. And I will be doing that in 2023, God willing, um, sticking with it and getting that done. I did want to decorate this kind of opposite page uh, here as well. Preferably with something that that uh, works with the, the theme of starting 2023 on our knees. And what better way than where Jesus himself teaches us how to pray. Um, if you want to learn something, go to the expert. All right. So if you want to learn about prayer, go to the expert. I mean, there are a lot of books on prayer and there are a lot of um, opinions and guidelines and all of that. But if we go to the expert, uh, Jesus, in how he spoke to his father, then I think we're covered. <laughs> so I laid out just more or less how I wanted this um, cluster. And then I took that same, those same three colors of paint. I actually just laid it down on this printable, which probably isn't the wisest. But yes, there's that. And then just outlined this page. That is Edmund. Hello, Edmund. <laughs> um, laid it out on this page how I kind of wanted it. And then had this um, outline that matched the inner for the opposite page. So I'm sticking down my clusters. When you stick down clusters, either use the uh, wrap. What do you call that wrap again? <laughs> Anyways, I'll try and remember the the glad press and seal. There you go. Glad press and seal to pick up your entire uh, cluster and then stick it from the bottom down. Or like me, your suckle. <laughs> and uh, start from the bottom and stick down everything in kind of the right places. Sometimes I've just got to grab the glad press and seal <laughs> and do it one time. So I've got this prayer down here or on this page. I did distress kind of the edges of the little note that the prayer is typed on or written on. And um, I am then just faffing about which kind of cluster fits in where. Um, like I said, could have done this way easier if I had just um, sorted out <laughs> the glad present seal. <laughs> Um, but yes, so once that is kind of done, I'm going to be taking a Pintor uh, paint pen, which is similar to the Posca paint pens. It's got that same water-based acrylic paint in it. Um, uh, so you'll hear when you shake it, it's got a ball. Those Pintor paint pens are available in South Africa um, in all of the various colors and then has extra fine nibs in the white, black, gold, and silver, which make these lines so much easier. I am so excited because it's very difficult to get a white opaque line on anything. <laughs> so these paint pens work perfectly and I'm very excited about that. So just going all out, adding some art marks onto the page as well, um, finishing that up and then deciding to go over onto the next page also and add some there, bringing the pages together. So that's my setup, my cover page uh, for this. And so I am excited to start 2023. Thank you for joining me. I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.